Today I show you how to make barium chloride by reaction of barium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. So this reaction is a pretty easy one. It's just reacting a salt with an acid and the ions kind of change. And um, you learn this kind of reactions when you start with chemistry in your first year at school something and to find out how much of those chemicals I need to get 50 grams of barium chloride I did a few calculations and so I found out that I need 47 grams of barium carbonate and 17.3 grams of, of pure HCl that's a problem because I've got no pure HCl gas I don't want to make it and so my HCl solution has only 33 percent so I had to you know calculate and so I now know that I need 52 milliliters of my HCl solution the only chemicals you need is just hydrochloric acid and barium carbonate which is much cheaper than barium chloride here in Germany it just costs a few bucks for one kilogram and um, I really recommend to use um, a gas mask or if you have one a fume hood but I don't think you have one when you watch my videos and um, that's because of the just hydrochloric acid vapors which are pretty toxic and I don't want to breathe in. To get the right amount of my chemicals I use those cheap scales and then graduated measuring cylinders this one has 50 milliliters and this one 10 to get my 52.4 milliliters of HCA solution. I decided to perform the reaction on a magnetic stirrer and in this beaker I will first put in the hydrochloric acid 50 milliliters and 2.4 milliliters turn it on and then slowly add my barium carbonate here. Now I start adding the barium carbonate and there's nothing toxic produced in this reaction it's just as you saw water and CO2 gas. This procedure may take a while but it's worth it. That's how the beaker looks after the reaction is completed and um, if my calculations were right then everything should have reacted so there's no HCl in it and no barium carbonate just barium chloride and 50 grams of it but that's only a theory I don't think that it worked that good the bubbles that you just saw were um, CO2 gas by the way and the last step is just to evaporate all the water so what I'm gonna do is just turn on the hot plate to let the water evaporate when the whole thing looks like this, you're nearly done. So there's not much water still in there. You just have to wait a bit and then it's finished. As you can see, that stuff turned green and I made a little mistake. I used an iron spatula and what I think that happened is that there was still a bit of HCl in it and it made iron chloride with my spatula and iron chloride may, makes uh, green complexes with other salts and I think that's what happened here so there's a bit of iron chloride in it but that doesn't matter it's just home chemistry you know but I think it looks pretty cool this green color is very amazing it looks like uranium or something so I've, I've never seen uranium but I think that it would look a bit like this. 
Okay, now I'm pretty sure they came from the spatula because it was attacked by the remaining HCl and here you can see that green iron chloride stuff but that was pretty interesting pretty interesting experience now let's check if our stuff works so I dissolved a bit of my barium chloride which unfortunately turned yellow now it looks like dry pee so I dissolved it in a bit of water and now I'm gonna add a few drops of sulfuric acid because there are sulfate ions in it and let's see what happens yeah you can see that white precipitation that's that's barium sulfate which does not dissolve and now we know that we added some sulfate ions so also it it turned yellow the whole stuff works now I want to show you that the physical properties of the two salts so barium carbonate and barium chloride are very different also both salts have the same cation which is barium but the anion is different here it's carbonate here is chloride so in this test tube there's a small amount of barium carbonate in here there's the same amount of barium chloride now let's see what happens if we add some water here you can see that the barium carbonate hardly dissolves but the barium chloride dissolves very well and so you can see that the whole thing is a very different salt so this has nearly nothing to do with our barium carbonate now let's check how much barium chloride we gained very professional in the ashtray well 55 grams <laughs> okay so there must be something wrong and I think what's wrong is that there's still a bit of water in it so I didn't evaporate all the water that's because it's 54 grams instead of 50 grams